fan to the Von Regan Kitchen, and this channel is about all things beauty, health, and wealth. And all of our cooking recipes go into that health bucket. So today, we're going to do a summer fresh broccoli rabe recipe. And you don't have to just use this recipe in summertime. If you want that summer fresh flavor in the wintertime, you can try this recipe out in the winter too. But it is just fast, flavorful, with a few ingredients, and it tastes delicious, and it just reminds me of summer. The ingredients we're gonna use are Parmesan cheese, fresh grated. So much better fresh. Chopped garlic. Our broccoli raw. Lemon. Salt and pepper if you'd like to use that to taste at the end. And our avocado oil. The very first thing you're gonna do is of course prepare all your ingredients. I've already prepared the broccoli raw, but I'm just gonna touch base about really quickly what I did to the broccoli raw before I dump it into my boiling water for five minutes. I got an eight ounce package of broccoli raw from Trader Joe's, or they call it at Trader Joe's baby broccoli. When you get this broccoli raw, you'll notice it has leafy parts on it. Some people just cook it with those leafy pieces. I like to take them off. So I take off all these leafy parts and then I just trim the bottom stem. So that's how I prepare my broccoli raw. I have eight ounces of my baby broccoli and I have my boiling water. I'm gonna dump it right into the boiling water and we're gonna boil it for five minutes and then we're gonna saute it. We've cooked our broccoli for five minutes, boiled it. Now I've placed it on this plate because I'm gonna dump it in this pan in a minute. It's cooked perfectly to what I like to call like an al dente firmness. I'm gonna pour about a tablespoon and a half-ish, teach to two tablespoons of avocado oil. I love to cook with avocado oil. It's a nice, healthy oil. Into our pan here. I'm going to dump my broccoli, my baby broccoli in. I'm gonna cook it on medium. So while our broccoli starts to saute, I'm zesting this lemon. This is a lemon zester, and you can use it to zest other things like ginger, um, lime. I will put the description of this product in the video description. It's really cheap on Amazon, like 10 bucks, I think. So I have all my lemon zest right in the lemon zester. I'll just leave it sit here for a moment. And then I'm gonna cut my lemon because I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon into the recipe. I'm just getting all the little seeds out of my lemon wedges. I'm gonna use about two lemon wedges at the end to finish off the broccoli. So i add the finishing touches will be the Parmesan cheese, the lemon zest, and then the squeezed lemon. Our broccoli started to saute when we cut our lemon and zested our lemon. Now we're gonna scoop all this garlic goodness into the saute pan. Oh gosh, this smells so good. I love, love, love the smell of garlic. So you're gonna saute this on medium for like three to five minutes. What I like to really see with this recipe or with this sauteing is the garlic get like a nice golden brown and then I know it's done and ready for like the final touches. So it's only been three minutes and our broccoli is done. The garlic is nice and golden brown. So now I'm going to put it on my plate. I love this French Pearl Lennox set. You've probably seen me talk about this in my videos. I'll put the French Pearl plate set description in my video. So I've plated the broccoli rub. Look how pretty that looks. So I have used my cheese grater. This is a really nice portable cheese grater. So you're gonna grate about a tablespoon and a half of fresh Parmesan cheese. And I'll put the grater in the description of the video if you wanna pick one of these up on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And we are gonna sprinkle the cheese while it's nice and warm so it starts to melt all over the top of the broccoli. Look how pretty. Add a little bit of white color. Then we're gonna add a little bit of the yellow with the lemon zest. 
the very finishing touch is you squeeze some nice lemon, fresh lemon, and it just makes me think of summer and just those fresh, flavorful ingredients. It just tastes so refreshing, so pretty looking. Voila! The total time for this recipe is like 20 minutes, 15 minutes with prep and cooking. So very simple and as I say, this is fast, flavorful and only with a few ingredients. Let me know in the comments what you think about this recipe and also subscribe, like, comment and be part of our fam. Bye for now.